Hi Copic in the Craft Room friends, Michelle Houghton here. I have another holiday card for you as we work our way through December. If you have watched me at all, um, you will know that I love an old truck. And I finally broke down and bought this stamp set from Honeybee Stamps. It's been out a couple years, but it's an old truck. And then you have all sorts of goodies you can fill the back end with. So of course, for the season, I have filled it with a Christmas tree. And in this case, I have done it in kind of my sepia tone ink so that I'm going to attempt some no line coloring. We'll see how that works out. I'm not so worried about the truck. You're going to see I have a few issues with the tires, um, keeping those exact. Um, so that probably would have been a little easier to do differently, but that's okay. I'm still loving how this turned out, and I think you will too. So the biggest thing with no line coloring that I would highly recommend is start one section at a time. So I'm going to start just with this one section of the trunk, truck and I'm doing a C5 and a C3 and now you see C1. So I've added that shading right from the get-go and I've gone dark to light and then I'm coloring over it with an R24 the entire thing except for that one tiny strip and I'm going to come back with E93 and I'm going to go into that area. Now the reason I use an earth tone instead of another light red was to make sure I'm getting it more of a rusty color versus pink um, in those highlight areas. So now I've got a C5 kind of behind the wheel and then I start adding the C7 to the tire and this is where I go a little off. It is really really hard to stay right on those lines and so the tire gets completely out of whack. So please don't look too closely at my tires on my truck. They are so not symmetrical and so not round. I push back a little bit on them with some colors using the C1 now on the metal areas. So I've got it on the front bumper, I've got it on the hubcap and I've kind of got it on that rail that runs along the side of the truck. So C1, C3, adding those areas in. I'm trying to use the um, the stamp, the what they added um, onto the hubcaps to show some of the shading there. Then I'm gonna do three or four more sections on the truck and I'm using the same technique, but this time I'm going light to dark with my gray. So I've got C1, now I'm coming back in and adding C3, and again, look at how I've lined these up. I haven't done three sections next to each other. I've actually done three sections or four sections away from each other. And that's very purposeful. With the no line coloring, that allows me to still see those edges. Here comes the C5. And not um, lose the edges as I run up against one section against another. So I've purposefully done kind of every other section with my grays so that I can still see those edges. Now see, this time I'm not blending. I'm coming right back in with my R24 and going over, leaving the highlight areas. But the R24 coming over the entire area of gray is actually gonna do my blending for me. So I've given you kind of two options here. You could do dark to light with your grays and that's gonna blend as you go or you can lay them down light to dark if you're more comfortable with that, but if you do that, know that you actually don't need to blend because your red, when you come back over the top of everything, is gonna actually do that blending for you. So I've left some really tiny areas on the door and on the hood and on the roof of the truck that I'm coming back with that E93, and I'm really scrubbing it, and I do a little bit on the side of the truck too. And again, that's to give it that kind of rusted, aged look. So I've got a few more sections on the truck. And this time I do have um, a couple that are running up against each other. But I felt like they were small enough that if I lost some of that detail, I'm, I'm okay. The other beauty of doing this all with the grays is you're going to see the grays kind of melt into each other. And if you haven't worked with the grays a lot before, if I can do this fairly quickly, they are going to do some of the blending on their own without work, me working them very hard at all. So I'm getting those little pieces in, trying to hold on to some of those details into some of those little crevices so we can see the seams that are happening on the truck. 
I'm going to darken that area up again so I don't lose those seams before I go move forward. Hitting these other side panels, avoiding the little gas can or gas cap, sorry, cap. And coming back in with my E93. And there's going to be some areas I need to hit with a little more red because I left a little too much around that gas cap. But you get the sense. Kind of push that a little further. Yep. And then I'm trying the second wheel. This one doesn't go any better. I make a huge mess of this. And I'm not sure if I was in too much of a rush. I think in hindsight, a better plan, this might have been my better plan, would be to have stamped this, but then tried to stamp isolate the wheels and actually stamp them in black or even gray. Um, just because I think that would have been easier than trying to color them because they really are out of whack. And I apologize for that. I look at them now and they're even worse than when I was actually doing them. So they're a little wonky. But hopefully whoever I send this to, that's not where their focus will be. So then I've got a YG03 and I'm going over the tree and I'm going to get closer so you guys can see it better. And then I'm going under the bottom edge with a YG63. So I'm kind of just zigging, kind of scribbling or squiggling um, up and down, getting underneath the branches. And then I do tiny dots kind of running along the very underside in some small details with a YG63. Just adding depth, getting those layers of texture. I have left some places where you can see through the branches. Um, so you're going to see as I come in, this is a B16, and I speed it up, the video up even further, because this part takes longer. So it's actually going to speed up here faster in just a second, because you don't necessarily want to watch me color an entire sky and underneath the truck. But notice I went in around that tree, and it hit a couple of those interior spots where you can see through all those little branches on the tree. So coming in around the truck, this is a B16. This is one of my favorite kind of night sky combinations. And then I'm going to come in with a B37 that's going to run into the B16 going over that area at least two to three times minimum. B39 is last. That's kind of the darkest edges of the image. And then I'm smoothing a little bit with the B16. I actually don't need to do a lot with the um, B37. And then I'm putting colorless blender on the windows and adding a little bit of B16. I'm just trying to hint at seeing through those truck windows. Sorry, there's a switch in lighting because I had to come back to this a little bit later. For the ground, I've got C1, and then I'm going to add a cast shadow underneath the truck, so kind of connect it down to this road. Not very specific, pretty soft at the edges. I'm going with a C3 and a C5 for that cast shadow underneath, and then I'm softening it. Notice the C5, that darkest part, is at the core of the cast shadow. That's the key part, so it's right underneath the truck. And I'm adding my opaque white stars and a little bit of maybe snow on the tree. Just, I felt like it added just such a nice touch and a little tiny bit of reflection. And then stupid me, I'm going back with some... Copics are on that window, even though I've already added um, an opaque white paint. So I'm avoiding those very carefully. But the window ended up getting a little blurry because I worked so fast on it. I didn't give it enough time to dry in between steps, and so it bled a little bit. I just want to thank Honeybee Stamps for this stamp set. I have been holding off buying it, and I'm so glad I finally have it in my stack. It is adorable, and I know I can use it for multiple seasons with all the different options of things I can put in my truck. Um, I appreciate you stopping by today. If you haven't had a chance recently, I do have all of my new for 2019 dates for Copic Colleges up on my blog. I'd love to see you over there. Thank you for joining me this week. I hope you are having a very happy holiday season. Have a happy, colorful week.